Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So some of our viewers told me that there is a brand new version of LibreOffice, LibreOffice 6.0. Now I myself, I actually am running the version that came with Linux Mint Sylvia, which is version 5.1.6.2. So it's definitely not an old version by any means. But this new version does bring some new enhancement and features. And so what I'm going to do today is actually try it out and have it compared to the existing version that I have right here. So what I'm going to do is go into my virtual machine and I will go ahead and install the new version here. Now what you want to do before you actually install the new version is you actually want to remove the old version of LibreOffice because in the past I have had problems where both versions will be available however the new version won't work okay so that's the problem I had so what I do is whenever you go here and you go to office just right click right here in LibreOffice and uninstall so you put in your password and what this will do is it will install everything related to this version of LibreOffice and so you don't have to uninstall each part individually okay so it should be a very quick process and then once it's done what you see is that version of LibreOffice is no longer available see there's not an office here anymore so in order to get the new version you would simply go to LibreOffice's website now the thing is the version on the software manager which is usually the case especially Linux Mint it's normally a much older version so if you go here and you look at LibreOffice you notice the version available here is 4.6 which is a lot older than even the version that comes packaged with Linux Mint 18.3 so that's why I recommend that you go ahead and go to the website and download it and when you go here to download make sure you choose the right version now in this case since we are running Linux Mint which is in Ubuntu Debian based OS you would choose the dev version okay and so once you download it you could also download the help menu as well it'll show up right here as a tar file okay so I've already got both of them downloaded here's LibreOffice 6.0 and here is the help pack okay so the first thing you want to do is actually extract the folders out of these files so right click on your mouse extract here okay there is LibreOffice 6.0 and I'm gonna do the same thing to the health pack let's go here and go to the readme file and this will give you pretty much all the instructions that you need and the installation instructions for the Ubuntu and Debian based versions is right down here okay so here's the actual instructions right there and so this is what we're gonna do we're actually gonna go here and the instructions say in this devs folder which has all the installation files all the dev files for each of the components that's what we're going to be installing so what you want to do here is right click on your mouse and then open in terminal okay and so following the instructions once you're in here you would simply put this command in okay and what this would do is it will execute all the dev files in here so let's go ahead and copy let's go back here paste press enter and now you just put in your password and it'll go ahead and start installing everything and so this should be a fairly quick process and I wish there was an easier version to update this but this is currently the easiest method so once you're done just go ahead and exit you could close this and now if you go to your menu you go to office okay so here is LibreOffice 6.0 it's up and running so we actually have 6.0.0.3 to be exact so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to show you the differences between the new version and then the current version that I'm running right now. And so the current version that I'm running, it has a dark theme. And so that's probably how you're going to be able to tell the difference when I'm going back and forth between the two. Now, if you wanted the complete list of all the new features, you could actually go to the release notes and they have a very detailed description of all the new changes. And at the same time, you could also go to the new features page and actually have a really informative video, which really covers just the main new features, which is what I'm going to be going over in this video. And so let's go back here. So the first new feature that they have here is 
themes on your icons. So on this old version, if you go to tools and then you go to options and view, you'll notice that you don't have a lot of options when it comes to the icon style and size. Okay, so that's all the icons up here on the toolbar. Now, if you actually go to the new version, you go to tools, options, then view, you'll notice you have a lot more options here, okay? So right now, the option that I have right now is Galaxy. So this is the current theme that I'm using. But you could also change to other things. And so they were primarily focused on the elementary theme of icons. And you see, it looks a little bit different. But, you know, it really depends on what you like. So you could even choose a little bit darker themes as well. This is a little lighter. And then you could go even lighter. There's like a breeze dark theme. And there's also a... Uh, SIFR dark so let's go ahead and do that see so it really depends on what you like so I'm gonna go back to the galaxy because it's something that is easier on my eyes okay so that's another thing and another thing that they did versus the old version is that the old version when it comes to the way you customize your menu it's kind of simple the way they have it here okay however in the new version if you go here to customize, you'll notice that it looks different than the previous version. Okay, so this one, it's more straightforward, but also not as user friendly as say something right here. Okay, and so another feature is with the find feature. Okay, so if you do a control F on the old version, it's a very simple search. You know, you put what you want and it'll find it. Okay, now in a new version, if you do control F, you see this new thing right here it gives you additional options to make it easier for you to look for specific things or specific portions of your page which gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to your search and another handy feature that I like is the export option so in the original if you do a file export as your only option is export as PDF whereas in the new version you could also export it as an EPUB. So this is great for publishing. You know, you wanted to do this as a book, then it can directly do it as an EPUB right away, which is excellent. And then the last main feature is images. So if I added an image here, okay, here on the old version, if you right click and you rotate, you can only rotate it 90 degrees left or right. Okay, so that doesn't give you too much flexibility. Whereas in the new one, if I inserted an image right here, if I right click, my options are rotate 90 degrees and 180. And then if I go to properties, I could also rotate it in any way I want right here. See, so if I did that and I said, okay, you see, so gives you more flexibility there when it comes to images. And there's also some new table styles as well. Um, I'm not going to be inserting it in here, but it gives you more features when it comes to your style. And so overall, at least here for Rider, a lot of the additional features that they give you, it just makes it easier to use. And then the features that they did add, it really makes sense. Now let's go over some other features that they added for the other programs. And I think that is the main part where that the comparison makes sense for Rider. On the other ones, it's not a huge difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back here. And I'm gonna show you some of the other features that they have. So on Cal, some of the new features are additional functions, the ability to select unprotected cells, tabs, and sheets. And the most important feature, I think, is the ability for you to select cells and then export that as images, as I'm going to show you right here. So say, for example, I highlight this right here. And I'll go to File, Export, and then Selection. I'm able to choose image type formats and also PDF or HTML or XHTML. So here, let's go ahead and export it as a JPEG. And we'll go ahead and save that. And then if I go to documents, there it is. And so this could come in really handy if you need to quickly share information from your spreadsheet without sending them the entire spreadsheet, okay? Now, the last program that I wanna talk about that they add additional function in is Impress. So we go here, and if you are the type of person who does a lot of presentations, 
then you will be glad to know that they've added some additional templates for you to use. And so that is it for all the new features, at least the main features that I found that were really useful in LibreOffice 6.0. It's definitely keeps improving upon everything that LibreOffice has done. And in this case, it's adding more features that are actually useful, but at the same time, not getting rid of features that we have already grown accustomed to. So if you had any thoughts on this new version of LibreOffice 6, be sure to leave it in the comments area below, or if you had any other thoughts about any additional features that I did not cover here. So as always, if you did enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.